Okay, I feel like this is a critical difference between the two major ETFs that are within GameStop and AMC, respectively. So we have IJR, right? Which is iShares Core S&P Small Cap ETF, institutional ownership right here on the screen. Now, IJR has the XTSLA fund as its number one holding, right? And then GameStop is its number two holding. And as I've, as I've tracked this over time, uh, I started noticing it around the you know July 12th timeframe. And upon other things, I noticed that XTSLA is a good government treasury fund, okay? They primarily hold tri-party repos with, with a 0.05% interest rate. If you look on their website, um, you know it's, it's very, very easy to find. You just go on their website, uh, iShares.com, type in XTSLA. Um, you can see that its holdings are primarily treasury. I've covered this many, many times. Now, the point of this is well, what I've done is I've reduced both of these ETFs down basically to only the puts, okay? And upon doing this, it's kind of uh, interesting regarding... <laughs> The, the difference in puts from these two ETFs, despite them having very similar shares outstanding or shares uh, or assets in the ETF itself. And of course, as far as puts, who are the institutions putting these puts? Well, Sushkrihana, Dynamic Advisors, US Bancorp, Capital Fund Management, Exodus Point, Citadel Advisors, Two Sigma Securities, Wells Fargo, Davenport, Cetera, Twin Tree, Cutler Group, and Jane Street. Okay, now Jane Street has the most, followed by, I'm sorry, Sushkrihana has the most puts, followed by Jane Street, followed by Cutler Group, followed by Citadel. Okay, now this is for IJR, the GME ETF. Now, let's go ahead and look at IWM, the AMC ETF. Now this one, by the way, has 3.7 million GameStop shares. It's been slowly going down over time. Now let's take a look at IWM. That's not IWM. This is IWM. So I'm just gonna scroll up, okay? And you just, you look at this. This is all puts for IWM, all active puts. It, most of these are gonna be filed anywhere between May and today. Anything filed earlier than May is going to show that they've sold their positions. So let's take a stop right here. So we have Citigroup Incorporated. Citigroup is nowhere to be found in IJR. They're, they are the underwriters for both stocks. We have 695, I'm sorry, 69, uh, 6,955,600 puts. That was previous. Currently, 8,315,100 puts. And it's anybody and everyone you can think of. I mean, Citadel, Credit Suisse, uh, B. Riley Financial, which was also the underwriter for AMC, Bank of Montreal, uh, you name it. There's 221 institutions with puts on this. You have Jefferies. You have the, pretty much the same that IJR had, but then some. And the most interesting point is that it also has the XTSLA fund. Now, the weird thing about that is if you go back here and we go to IJR and we look at the holdings updated as of the 30th, we can see here, XTSLA GameStop, okay? 3.7 million shares of GameStop. Now let's go to IWM ETF with AMC. Same thing, kind of. The weird part is, is that it used to be exactly the same as IJR. You saw XTSLA up here, followed by AMC. Now AMC is the number one with about 9.2 million shares. So my question is, why the hell do we have a total of 344.199 million puts in IJR, but then here in IWM, you have five, seven, four, one, seven, five, three, one, oh, five hundred and seventy four point one seven five million puts times that by 100. That's fifty seven point four billion assets or. 
82% of this ETF. So what the hell's going on here? 82% of this ETF, IWM, is puts. Then you look at the short interest on it, on IWM specifically. Short volume, it's being shorted um, about 50, over 50% according to combined short volume ratio. As far as short interest, it's continuing to go down. It peaked in May during the run-up for AMC. It peaked, and it's been going down with a slight, just a slight bump as of late. So I don't know what's going on here, but it's, it's something, and it's not going on here. So why the difference? Why the difference? Much, much, much less on this IJR. You can just see right here. I'll type in put. You, you get 22 answers. One of them is right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which, by the way, they're down 39%. Or, or I'm sorry, 39 as far as their return. They've dumped 57.69% of their shares. Uh, Citadel Advisors has increased theirs, of course. Jane Street has increased theirs. Sushquihana has increased theirs. Two Sigma sold out. Cetera sold out. Twin Tree sold out. Capital Fund, not much of a position. And then we have, uh, that's it. That's all there is that hasn't sold out. Wells Fargo sold out. Peak Assets sold out. Uh, US Bancorp basically has no position left. And then you have the Dynamic Advisor Solutions and then Exodus Point. Now go here, type put, 152, 152 results. Insanity. Insanity. And that's only the disclosed, uh, that's only the disclosed short interest. So let's go back to the uh, institutional ownership and then do put there. Puts on this page, 230 institutions with puts. Um, now, some did sell out way down here, I think, a few, but the majority of them are still active, and it's a shit ton of puts. Again, you saw the number, 57 billion, 85 or 82% of the fund. Don't know what's going on here. Can't be good, though.